The Battle of the Two, also known as Operation Landcrab, took place on 11 to 30 May 1943 and was a battle fought between the forces of the USA with assistance from Canadian reconnaissance and fighter bomber support and Japan on the island of Attu, located off the coast of the Alaska as part of the Aleutian Islands campaign during the American and Pacific theater. Attu is the only land battle in which Japanese and American forces fought in snowy conditions, in contrast with the tropical climate in the rest of the Pacific, which led to unexpected difficulties for both sides. Attu was also one of a few islands of crucial importance to both America and Japan as he could control the sea lanes across the northern Pacific Ocean. With Japan wanting to prevent a naval invasion directly from Alaska and the USA the same, U.S. General Billy Mitchell even told the U.S. Congress in 1935, I believe that in the future, whoever holds Alaska will hold the world. I think it is the most important strategic place in the world. Despite said importance of the islands, the 301st Independent Infantry Battalion from the Japanese Northern Army landed unopposed on Attu on 7 June 1942, one day after the invasion of nearby island Kiska. Now that Japan had control of the islands, the United States feared that mainland Alaska and any West Coast territories were susceptible to air raids. On 11 May 1943, Units from the 17th Infantry of Major General Albert E. Brown, 7th U.S., the Infantry Division made amphibious landings on a two to retake the island from Japanese forces led by Colonel Yasuo Yamazaki. Despite heavy naval bombardments of Japanese positions, the American troops encountered strong entrenched defenses that made combat conditions tough. Arctic weather and exposure-related injuries also caused numerous casualties among U.S. forces. After two weeks of relentless fighting, however, American units managed to push the Japanese defenders back to a pocket around Chichigoff Harbor. On 21-22 May 1943, a powerful Japanese fleet assembled in Tokyo Bay in preparation for a sortie to repel the American attempt to recapture a two. The fleet included four carriers, three battleships, seven cruisers, and eleven destroyers. The Americans, however, recaptured a two before the fleet could depart. On 29 May 1943, without hope of rescue, Yamazaki led his remaining troops in a bonsai charge. Bonsai charges were an ancient Japanese maneuver that saw soldiers willingly run into ongoing fire and charge with bayonets, with the hope of surprising their enemy. Fighting was very brutal and to the death. The Japanese had a huge sense of pride and honor when it came to war and conflicts. Unfortunately, this meant that these charges were either completely successful or catastrophic failures due to the charges not often having much strategic planning and were instead used as a last-ditch offensive. The surprise attack broke through the American frontline positions. Shocked American rear echelon troops were soon fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat with Japanese soldiers in treacherous environments. The battle continued until almost all of the Japanese were killed. The charge effectively ended the battle for the island, although U.S. Navy reports indicate that small groups of Japanese continued to fight until early July 1943 and isolated Japanese survivors held out until as late as 8 September 1943. In 19 days of battle, 549 soldiers of the 7th Infantry Division were killed and more than 1,200 injured. The Japanese lost over 2,351 men, including Yamazaki. Only 28 prisoners were taken. After the loss of a two, Japan removed themselves from all conflicts over the Aleutian Islands for the rest of the war. The Japanese Northern Army secretly evacuated its remaining garrison from nearby Kiska, ending the Japanese occupation in the Aleutian Islands on 28 July 1943. Despite the losses, Japanese propaganda attempted to present the Aleutian Island campaign as an inspirational epic. For the United States, security for Alaska and the West Coast allowed them to harness their strengths onto the heart of the Japanese Empire in the upcoming months and years of World War II. Thank you for watching this Everything History video. We hoped you enjoyed it, or at least learned a thing or two. What do you think of the Battle of Attu and the Aleutian Islands campaign? Would you like to see us cover more Japanese battles in World War II?
Let us know down in the comments.